Hello there, in this video I'm going to teach you how you can artificially change up your voice or speak in a separate voice using AI. First of all, there are some requirements for this. For example, you're going to need an NVIDIA GPU that supports CUDA or higher. And you also need approximately 30 GBs of space free in your computer. You also need at least a 10 minute audio sample of the voice that you want to change to. First of all, you're going to open Audacity and then paste in your audio sample that you want to use. Make sure it's minimum of 10 minutes. After that, you're just going to select it till the 10 minute mark. For example, you only need 10 minutes of it, so we're just going to select this and delete it. After that, just export your file as a WAV file. The next step would be going over to the huggingface.go link and then downloading RVC Beta 7Z. Just wait for it to download. After it's downloaded, head over to your downloads page or wherever you downloaded it. Make sure you have 7-zip and extract it. Once it's done extracting, you're just going to head over to the folder. Open it. Once that's done, you're just going to drag the lecturer folder, which is the folder with your, with your lecture inside it. Into the RVC beta folder. After that, head over to the goweb.bat file and click it. After that's done, you'll be led to a page on your browser. Once you're here, you're going to go over to the train option. Make sure to change your version to v2. Enter a new experiment name for your experiment. And then you're going to paste the path to your training folder, which is the lecture folder that we created. Over here, open the folder and then what you're going to do is just copy this path and paste it over here. After that, hit the process data option. Just wait for it and once it says end pre-process twice, you're just going to minus it and then head on to the step 2. Make sure everything looks about the same here except for your GPU information. Obviously that won't be the same for everyone. And then just hit the feature extraction option. Once you hit that you can see that there's some random stuff going on in our command window. Just wait for it to finish. You'll know this is completed when it says all feature done. After that, you're going to scroll down to step 3. Over here, we're just going to change the saving frequency all the way to 50. Change the total training epochs to 300. And after that, change the batch size per GPU to anything lower than the VRAM your GPU has. We're keeping it default for now. Make sure everything else looks the same as it is for me. After that, just hit on the one click training option. It's going to start some processes in the command window again, so just wait for these. A little note here that usually one click training will also run step one and step two again. So this should be the only button that you have to click. But we're going to do it step by step 
to minimize any errors. Just wait for this to finish. You'll know that this is complete once you see the saving final CKPT and then success. It will also say training is done, the program is closed. After that, you're going to head over to a GitHub page. You can see the link over here. And then scroll down till you find the download RVC GUI option. It's a zip file. So download it. After it's done downloading, open the folder that you extracted. And over here, you're going to head over to the RVC GUI.bat file. Open it and wait for it. After it runs, you're going to navigate to the RVC beta folder, wherever you saved it. And over here, go to weights and we copy our lecturer PTH file, which we'll then paste in the models folder of RVC GUI. And you're going to go over to the weights folder, copy the lecturer file or whatever you named it, and then head over to your <laughs> RVC GUI folder. Over here, you're going to paste it in the models area. And you'll also need to compress it to a zip file. Once that's done, you're just going to delete the original file and head over to your RVC GUI tool. Over here, you're going to import from zip and then select your model. After that, you're going to select the model and then hit the lecturer or whatever you named it. And over here, you're just going to paste or import the audio file that you want to convert, which is not the audio file that we use for training. So basically your own voice this time. Keep in mind that the audio that you use has to be in the wave format. So for that, just head over to Audacity again. Select your audio file or drag and drop it over here, for example. And then head over to File, Export, and Export as Wave. After that's done, just import your audio file from this GUI. Make sure your processing mode is set to GPU and change the F0 method to harvest. After that, just hit convert and wait for it to convert. Keep in mind, if your window crashes, that's normal. Just wait for it as it will resume later. It's done. We're just going to take a look at it. Hello, this is your conversion using the AI. As you can see, it changed our voice to the model that we trained it from. And as you heard, it actually changed our voice to the sample that we trained it from. That sums up the video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.